Hi everyone, I'm gonna to touch base with you quickly on what your little one should be wearing to bed now that we're coming into the cooler months. Now that we're in April in Australia, it's actually, to be honest, quite warm through the day, but at night, especially between the two and four in the morning, is actually where it's quite cold. We naturally, as adults, will look for our doona, blanket, sheet, um, but unfortunately, in most cases, bubbers, until they're about, you know, five or six years old in some cases, they can't physically do that. They just don't know how. And what they will find, what you'll find, is they're gonna wake up early because they're cold or you know uncomfortable they can't really get themselves back to sleep so I'm just going to give you a bit of an overview of what your little one should be wearing to bed now that we're coming into the cooler months so uh, and this is really common I've been getting inundated with lots of messages and DMs over the last just in the last few days especially the last week since it has temp the temperature has dropped um, with parents really unsure what they need to dress their little one in so if you've got a baba between the age of zero and two to two and a half years of age it would be a long onesie so long arms long legs and then in a sleeping bag. If your little one is still swaddled or tucked in, that's sufficient, that's fine, that's enough. If your little one is beyond six months of age and you are using a sleeping bag, that sleeping bag needs to be at least two to two and a half tog with a onesie underneath, so long arms and log legs underneath. Um, if you have a bubba or a toddler in this case over the age of two or two and a half and they are, can't fit into a sleeping bag or they don't like the feel of the sleeping bag, this is where you need to use layers because like I said, babies cannot use blankets, they don't know how to use blankets, so you need to use layers. So as an example for a toddler, you might want to put them in a onesie, so a long arms and long legs, but then you also might need to put them in winter pyjamas on top of that. So it just might be flannelette um, top over the, over the top and flannelette pyjama bottoms over the bottom. And that's just going to prevent them waking up between, you know, two and four from the cold. If you do have a hot bubba or a sweaty bubba, what you might want to do when it is coming to bedtime, so anywhere between six and seven, when it's not freezing, obviously, it's certainly not that cold, you can put the fan on or put the air conditioning on if you've got the opportunity on a temperature where it's still cool enough for them to go to sleep in that amount of clothing or layers. And then anywhere between 8 p.m. and 10 p.m., turn that off because once they're asleep, their body temperature drops anyway. And all the layers or the layers that you've got on will start to do their job between two and four in the morning. So hopefully by giving them and putting them in the appropriate um, clothing and layers, we'll hopefully get them through till, you know, six o'clock or close to six for, um, for, the, for the early rising. So hopefully that, guys, gives you some advice moving forward, given the fact that we're coming into cooler months.